all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna talk about queues in nest.js so this was a topic like i just came across that and a few days back so i was just doing one implementation so i had to push one million rows of data in the action suite or csv file to into the database so so there's a question so i just came across in the nest.js like this implementation which you can use which is called queues so it's a kind of basic feature like if you are learning the javascript if you're learning any stack or any programming language or you're learning computer science so you should know about this queues linked list and arrays and all the things so the queue is also the basic feature which holds the data for a while and update data one by one like first in first out so you will fill the queues up okay and after that it will just make one data execution will be finished after that it will move another data to for the execution so that's how it works so this is the queues and the nest.js and there's some implementation like you have to do for the queues like you can't directly use it you have to install some libraries with that and then you can use it so first we need the redis so if you see over here it has the file so this is the documentation you can read it later but you need the bull bull provides the feature of the queues in the next year so you have to install this library over here and after that you need redis which gonna hold your data in the queue and then it will move one by one data for the execution okay so that's how it works so first you have to do some installation into your local system so you have to install this command like you have to run this command to install the bool first okay and then before that you have to install the redis so redis documentation you can just read over here how you can install it so i'm using the mac os so i've already installed redis but you can just go into the command prompt like in the terminal sorry in the terminal and you can just write pro services okay so you can just see all the services over here how many services are running in the blue so you can see my mysql is running and the redis is also running so if i want to look at the redis server on which port it is running so you could just do redis sorry iphone server okay so you can see my redis server is running on the port 6379 and this is the pid this is how it is so you have to include this port when you include the redis inside your nest.js application just close this one and just read through the documentation uh, in the nest.js how you can use it so you have to just install this one after that you just need to connect bull with the redis okay when we local host like the origin name where your redis server is running and then after that you have to connect the port so you can run the redis on different uh, container as well if you are deploying on the production and you are using docker container so you can just run the redis in the different container and you include that container port over here and all the implementation for the redis okay so that uh, like right now the redis is running into this one and on the like production you can run in the container different different container okay so that's the different scenario but yeah right now you can run on the local and you can include the port like this and you can include this code in the app.module so if i show you my code over here so in the app.module i have already included the redis over here like redis and then it's running and bull module dot four root okay it will do the setup for your bull and your redis so you can use the queues after that okay later on you just have to go down and see some more so these are the some limited rate limited redis options so these are some options that you can include inside this configuration later on you just have to use the queues so you have to name the queue which queue you are using in which module and you have to register it before using that so if i go into the code i'll show you so i'm using users queue so as many as queue you are creating so you have to register all the queues over here into the module whichever module you are using and then you can use it later on so if i go into the service i'll show you i'm using the queues over here okay in the find all options so you see this dot user queue dot add so first of all you have to inject the queue so you have to use inject queue and then users like the queue name which queue you you're going to use and after that you have to just load the dependency like injection dependency injection you have to do first okay so this is the syntax which you have to use and after that you can just add the queues like one by one so i'm running a full loop and i'm adding so one million one million time this iteration will run and it will add one by one all the data in the queue and it's going to be added and all the implementation going to be run over here so if you see i have run the process as well so how the flow works for the queue okay first you will register the queue in the module file okay whatever the queue you're going to use after that you have to add the queue so once you add the queue it will automatically
actually find the processor related to that queue for the execution of the data okay so whenever you will add this data inside the queue so the data gonna be added at the same same time but the execution will also start one by one so the like there is a line number of peoples in the line okay one two three four five so the one will automatically go on the counter and then finishes execution and after that move away then second person will come so same time people are getting added into the line but one by one people are also moving out of the line okay from the start so there are two process first in first out and the last in first out most of the time people use first in first out only because last in first out like you have to fill the queue first and then you have to pick one by one data out from the queue when you will add the queue over here it will go over here to check the processor and the processor will listen over here so this is gonna be this function gonna be running and after that you will receive your data over here so you can do whatever the execution you want to do over here so this is the processor for queue so as many as queues you are running you have to write the processor for that and then your processor will listen this like your event will pass from the service and your process will come over here and you can do the execution so let's try that how it works so you see i'm already running my postman in the vs code so you can install the extension of the postman from here so i have installed it and it will add over here one more line and after that you can just add one uh, api over here so let's suppose i have a new collection let's i'm adding one collection like random okay so i will delete it later but just naming it and add requests like uh, get all so i will add like http local host 8000 slash api slash v1 slash uh all i think let's check the route go back to user service go back to code controller the controller we have controller we have users we need to find all we need to fire the final function so user slash me so before that i'm using any prefix in the app module or not so main dot sorry yeah so i'm using the global prefix so let's go to our postman over here go into the query and api even slash me okay now i'm gonna hit the request so you will see the queues will start running for 1 million so if i send it so it doesn't find the api v1 slash me maybe the route is different or what http local host 8000 oh, oh i didn't put the users as well before the me this would be users slash users okay send it. So you see the queue started running queue started the data started getting added into the queue and also it's printing so it's happening at the same time because the there's no any execution going on but it's still that this is kind of thing gonna happen and it's not gonna be stuck so right now i'm running the queue so that's why it's getting stuck but you can run the queue on the events okay so you will trigger the event queue will start it parallelly and also you will receive the response at the same time so you see user dot service so you will receive the response until this all the job gonna be finished but we don't have to do like this we have to pass an event so we can use the event emitter in the next JS and then pass the event and run another function and that will add the queue and then and immediately you will receive the response in the postman or anywhere the client side you're using it okay so that's how it works so this is the simple process you can run and all the different logic and implementation you can learn from here as well this is just small documentation there's no nothing much thing that you can can't use it and there is some configs also defined so that you can use but the so normal normal behavior is that you just have to date, add data in the queues and the slowly slowly it will comes out like make the execution okay all the options which you have to include that are added over here like if you have queues so you want to priority give the priority to which queue which data how much delay you want to give attempts number and repeat and all the things everything you can include over here and after that you have a this is the logic which i already shown you how to add the queue this is how you can add and you can pass the delay like this so i was showing you how you can pass the lifo so this is the last and first out method that you can pass so whatever the data you have added over here already so after that you can just put the comma and create another object like this and passed lifo equals to true that's it so like this you can pass another option for this queue so it's going to be automatically implemented okay so after that yeah that's it and then it will show you the processor like the processor you have to listen this queue as well the execution so you need to add the processor and the processor will pull your one by one all the data and execute it okay so this is the execution happening right now so it's run for one million times so it has finished now so it took not took it doesn't took long, long time so 
topics kind of thing and it will run parallelly and all the data will be added over there so that's how it works like uh, and there are a few other options uh, you see event listener so you can pass the events as well so have a look guys and if you have any doubt about this queue bull and then so make sure your redis is running on the local server and then you can just install this bull library and then you can use the queue easily in the nest js so that was the just informational topic there's not big implementation but i will just wanna make you aware guys so thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'm gonna meet you in the next video with a different topic in the nest js